Hello, my name is Gareth Harford. I'm running as an independent candidate in the UK parliamentary constituency of Epsom and Yule for the 2015 general election. And this is my campaign video diary. So I attended that hustings the other night as an audience member. And interesting fact, that Hustings is now considered by the Electoral Commission to be a promotional event. Because I wasn't invited, it promotes a particular candidate or party or disadvantages others. So yes, I attended this promotional event, and so I thought I'd make some videos on some of the topics that were brought up, which I wasn't allowed to address because I wasn't invited. Did I mention that? So I'm going to talk about foreign aid today, and I'm going to stress that all these views are my own. Not that that actually matters, because I'm not representing a party that is telling me exactly what to say, or how I'm meant to think. See how that works? So international or foreign aid, what is it? It's money that is given by the government, via the Department for International Development, to other countries some of which we may or may not have stripped for wealth at some point in history, and they use this money to develop those countries. So what's it spent on? A whole host of different things, but the largest portion goes on health, making sure that people in these developing countries aren't dying from things that we don't in this country, things like diarrhoea. Is it all spent on worthy causes? No. It definitely isn't. In fact, a surprising amount is siphoned indirectly right back into Britain. But then, not even our own budget is spent entirely on worthy causes. We have poverty in this country. We have squalor. We have hunger. This 1.4% of our budget that we spend on foreign aid makes a huge difference in the developing world. But sadly, it's not going to solve those problems in this country. So it's up to you to decide whether this small chunk of our spending pie is worth spending on saving thousands of lives overseas, in increasing Britain's reputation for setting a good example to the rest of the world, or if we should leave those in direst need to their lot. Personally, I think that we need to maintain, if not increase, our foreign aid budget. However, at the same time, we also need to look at exactly what that aid is being spent on so that it can be used more effectively overseas. It's not a popular view, certainly, but it's mine. <laughs>